What's up, y'all? And as requested, the bad singer, the harp, I have nothing but the GOAT, Miss Whitney Houston. Now, usually I would re react to these things after the fact, and everybody knows. Uh, but this time, I'm on time, and nobody knows, so let's get right on into it. That's giving me Titanic live vibes. Let's see. Come on now, come on. We know that you know that I know that they know that that's Amber Riley. O okay, um, now if it's not, I'm gonna be looking real stupid out in these streets. If it's not, I, I'm just gonna take this L with a smile because I am almost, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not almost, I'm 100% sure this is Amber. I knew it the first few seconds, her tone, she has this innocent, sweet sounding tone and when the vibrato came in it's almost like it flutters when she's singing soft and, and the sweet you know at the first few verses when she's singing soft like that and the vibrato especially kicks in it's almost like a fluttering vibrato it's so innocent her voice she sounds so young so youthful uh she still sounds the same as she did when she, when she was in a uh, glee that show you know what i mean and, and she has that youthfulness it has to be her that's her tone that's her tone uh, and, uh, I mean, she just bodied the song. She absolutely did an incredible job. Uh, high notes are just as powerful. And, um, uh, there was a particular high note that was more, it, it is, I think it went, the song modulated one time and it took it a step up. That note was sort of raw. It had some, just some, it had some, some of that, you know, it was a little dirty on it. You know, it had a little bit of a, a rawness, a little of a growl, I would say, or maybe a little bit of distortion is more correct term to it, uh, that modulated high note, savage, killed the doggone thing, and she has such clarity, aside from that note, she has, in general, such clarity, like I said, a youthfulness, uh, uh, an innocence to her tone, it, it, it's just so, and yet it can be so powerful, and her range is ridiculous. Ridiculous, and and I just mean her control here was fantastic. That transition at the end, and that 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 run, that volume control, the way she went from full power and reeled that sucker in real smooth at the end was beautiful. Um, uh, her head voice is beautiful as well, um, and I just mean she she just she's very she's dynamic. You know, she she excels at at, at pretty much everything. Um, um, I haven't really heard her lows, to, to be honest with you, but aside from that, uh, she, she seems to just excel and be just an incredibly dynamic and, and, and great at everything. She bodied the performance, and this sounded like the track version of, of, of I Have Nothing. It sounded like the track 
But it was something about it that that night that that something about this audio that that, that had it bumping extra hard. Uh, uh, that's one of my favorite songs of all time, and and it it sounded so somebody sounded so clear and just so fresh on this. I mean, it it, it had about to be jumping out to see. Beautiful, 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 and the stage, like I said, that gave me uh, Celine Dion. My heart will go on. You know that that glass sort of. What do you, it's not really a chandelier, is it? It's sort of like a big veil that she had that she performed a few years ago on some award show she performed. It had that same set look design. I thought that was interesting. But anyway, Miss Amber Riley did a phenomenal job. She has the range for it. Uh, she has the dynamics for it. Uh, uh, and she has the control, the musicality, the, the, the common sense to not just do too much and, and butcher it. She... She knows what she's doing. She did a fantastic job, in my opinion. Let me know what you all think. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. And please continue to form your favorites. Peace.